For this new tip of the day, I want to discuss setting up a parking ride and how that can alleviate some tourist traffic off your highways. I was doing some work in this area on our left, probably in the oil industry, when I noticed cars driving on this four-lane concrete road. I clicked on a few of them and found that they were tourists driving to this transit hub here. I then went to the boundary at the other side of the city and found tourists using the highway to come to this metro train station hub here. I was a bit puzzled by this since I do have train stations that accept inner city trains. I thought about their behavior for a little while and I'm wondering, I am willing to bet that farther in the distance there's another highway that maybe comes from the left and connects to this one which leads to a city that doesn't either connect to the rail line on the right or the rail is very far out of the way making highway the preferred transit option. I decided to create a parking ride to see if tourists would take advantage of a convenient way to access the public transit network right at the edge of the city. I paired up a ground metro station with the inner city bus station, which is bringing some tourists into the city and have all that action take place in a nice quiet place like this. It's a very simple design. Vehicles can continue on the highway. A two lane residential one way off ramp brings you into the area. Keep in mind the off ramp needs to be slower than the competing highway so all cars don't use this segment of road and a second two-lane residential one-way road back on the highway. A few notes down, a U-turn spot to get them back home. Another U-turn spot to allow service vehicles easy access to the park and ride. I was doing local and organic produce from Green City DLC, two by three dimension, and play whack-a-mole until I got the Edison Hypercharger. I also added the new carport. Metro moves about 50 to 150 tourists depending on the bus arrivals. It doesn't seem like much, but it does save maybe 50 to 75 cars from clogging up the highways and interchanges, as well as introducing tourists to the transit system very early on, making it a more appealing alternative to driving in the city. I can see this being very beneficial if the design follows the key principle of making public transit more convenient than driving, and therefore people will use it. This line provides a great shortcut into the transit hub but to offer connections to local bus, train, and metro that bring riders to many attractive locations in the city. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope this helped alleviate some highway congestion in your city. Until next time, happy building.